dahlia here. I mean, that is a fabulous, fabulous dahlia. It's got glamorous dark foliage, the most vibrant magenta flowers, and it's called Magenta Star, an apt name. But if we look in here, we will see that there are lots of spent flower heads. In other words, the flowers have been and they're gone. Uh, the petals have fallen and that will now make seed. And we've got to fool this dahlia into making new flowers and not seed. So we have to cut those off. Now, when you cut into a dahlia to cut away the dead flower head, don't just take the ends off because you'll be left with a sea of sticks sticking up and looking <laughs> just ridiculous. Just follow it back. Just down to the bottom? Just down to the bottom. And so what you get is you get two dead dahlia heads or two em emerging seed heads, I suppose. But don't cut away the flower buds because the flower buds look slightly different. And I'll just try and explain the difference between an emergent flower bud and a seed head. And here we have an emergent flower bud, which you can see is much more rounded. You can also see there's a faint glimmer of magenta on the in the centre there, and there is the seed head. Now look at the difference in shape between the two. So a seed head's much longer, one and a half times the length. Just about. A rough guide. <laughs> hey!